Hello everyone, welcome to this week's Top 5 Tuesdays. I know it's been a while since Michelle and I posted a video. She was busy, she was traveling a lot, I was busy with work, so we just decided to take a couple weeks off, but we are back at it now. And this week we're gonna be going over our Top 5 Favorite Perfumes, fragrances. So the first fragrance I want to talk to you guys about is actually what I'm wearing today and it's one of those type of perfumes that I think are perfect for the colder months and I have been wearing this for a couple years now. This is the Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. This is my second bottle so I actually went through like a smaller bottle and went ahead and got the bigger one. So it comes in packaging that looks like this. So it's basically a warm, spicy scent, but has floral notes in it as well. I'll list the notes of each of the perfumes that I'm going to be showing you guys um, down on the screen so you guys know exactly what's in there. But I really love this smell. It's so perfect for the you know colder months. It just is that, that warm, inviting type of smell, but there's just enough like citrus to it and floral to it. It's just a perfect combination. The name Velvet Orchid is just perfect and it's like a really good way to kind of kind of describe the scent. I love the packaging. I love the bottle. It's Tom Ford. What's not to love about it? All right, the next fragrance I'm going to be talking to you guys about is one that I tend to wear more in the spring and summer months, and I have also been wearing this for years, and this, I believe, is my third bottle of it. So I'm the type of person that when I find a fragrance that I really love, I kind of stick to it. I used to when I was um, in college and um, in my early 20s, I used to, you know, have tons of different type of perfumes and whatever my mood was is what I would choose. But now I'm more selective and I kind of like having more of like a signature scent. So in the uh, warmer months, I tend to like to wear the My Burberry perfume. I think it's just called the My Burberry perfume. So it comes in really cute packaging like this. Now this has more of a floral type of scent. It smells like you're going through a really beautiful floral garden. And I just like the way um, the scent lingers all day. It lasts all day. I like, you know, like smelling myself and being like, oh, it just smells so nice and so fresh. And it totally reminds me of the springtime. That is just a fragrance that I absolutely love as well. The next perfume I'm going to be talking to you guys about is probably the newest to my, you know, fragrance wardrobe. And this is by the um, Elizabeth and James Nirvana in Amethyst. So I got this during the Sephora VIB sale. Now before um, I started wearing Amethyst, I used to wear Elizabeth and James Bourbon, which I absolutely love as well. But I think I like amethyst just a tiny bit more than bourbon. So for those of you who don't know, the way that the Elizabeth and James fragrances work is that they're divided by the Elizabeth scents and then there's a James scents. So usually people tend to be one more than the other. So Elizabeth is the Nirvana White, the Nirvana Rose, and the Nirvana um, Earl Grey. Whereas the James scents are the Nirvana Black, the Nirvana Bourbon, and the Nirvana Amethyst. So I'm more of a James type of fragrance um, lover, I guess you can say. So this particular one, it has vanilla in it. I believe there's like tuberose, I'm not exactly sure, but it has, it's another one of those fragrances that's very warm, lasts all day, um, just it smells so good and it's totally my type of perfume. All right, the next fragrance I'm gonna show you guys is not gonna be no surprise because I have mentioned this several times on my channel and out of all the perfumes I'm going to be showing you this one is definitely my favorite. This is the Hermes. I'm going to totally pronounce this um, incorrectly so I apologize for that right now. It's the Elixir de Merveilles. Merveilles? Merveilles? So it looks like this. So there are different ones, but this is the one that has the word elixir in it. So this is the bottle that it comes in. Even though I have used so much of it, there's still a lot left. I love this perfume. This is the fragrance that anytime I wear it, I always get compliments on it. And it's such a sexy, gorgeous, glamorous type of perfume. 
it's just you have to smell it to know exactly what I'm talking about. It's just sophisticated. It is just so beautiful and so chic. I just love this particular perfume. I love the packaging. I think it's so cool. And I do like to layer this perfume. It's really one of those good ones to layer. And so the last uh, perfume that I'm going to be showing you guys, and I've spoken about this several times on my channel as well, I love to layer with the Hermes perfume, or I like to wear both of these um, separately. This is the uh, Maison Margiela Replica by The Fireplace. If you are the type of person that when you go outside in the wintertime and you can smell people have their fireplace on and you can smell that wood type of smell and it's so cozy and inviting to you and you like that kind of smell, you will love by The Fireplace. So it's... The fragrance description right on the bottle is burning wood and chestnut. I love this particular smell. It just smells... It just smells so warm and inviting and just smells so good and it completely is one of those type of fragrances that takes you back to a certain like memory where you're kind of like around the fireplace and you're just kind of feeling cozy and warm and it just smells so good and I love that and what I like to do is I layer both of these so I usually apply by the fireplace first give it like a minute or two to kind of set and then I apply the um, Hermes elixir on top or what I like to do is I do by the fireplace and then I apply the Nirvana um, Amethyst perfume on top. It's a really good fragrance to layer or I like to wear it on its own. Same thing with the Hermes Elixir. You can layer this one or it smells very very good by itself as well. So those are my top five favorite fragrances or perfumes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And of course when you're done watching my video, head on over to Michelle's channel and check out her top five favorite perfumes. I'm sure she has an awesome lineup for you guys. And I'm really interested to see what she chooses as well because I know she's very particular about um, scent. So I'm interested to see what she decides and what she picks in for her top five. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks. Bye.